All right, we're going to do a little journey today, and um, I'm just here to tell you guys, from a young man over 45 years ago, I've always liked old trucks and junk, and, um, and this is how the Gravedigger got created. This was the first shop that I ever had, and I've done a replica of it in my shop now here at Digger's Dungeon. But we're going on a journey, I'm taking you through some junkyards, and we are going to hunt and look for nothing but panel trucks because it's pretty obvious I love panel trucks. So check out some of this. And a part of our journey really starts right here. This was my first panel truck. The first panel truck, I found this thing riding the back roads in a wintry bad day, just like it is today. And this truck I got back in 1983, I purchased this truck for $75. I went up and knocked on the door of a house an old man came out it had a ladder rack on top and he was a painter and i opened the back doors up and it had paint spilled all over it it was really really cool back in the day but it was in the woods and i pulled this thing out and this truck turned out to be the legend and this is a part of our journey you know i'm not hunting for these to buy them because you know guess what i bought this thing in 1983 also so this is the original grave digger monster truck um, this was right after the era of playing in the mud and i put big tires on it and started crushing cars but um we call this grandma and it's rusting in peace 1951 ford um i was always a chevrolet man and i loved l88 427s and that's what i had in this truck when i first built it i'm gonna start back here at the barn because let me tell you what i don't like to do i don't like to go on journeys by myself especially junkyard journeys i want somebody to talk to to you know that's going to play back with me and, and loves to do what i do so i'm going to go in here and i'm looking for somebody to go with me cliff bobby somebody but you know on the way there's all kinds of cool stuff this project right here this is old school mud truck we're getting ready to bring it back we're starting to drag all of our junk out because it's fun fun stuff to do and it's cheap and it's easy so this is going to be Cliff's rig right here, and if I can scout him a panel truck, I'm going to talk him into putting a panel truck on this chassis. He's looking for an old body right now. I'm going to go here and round up me some company so we can go on this little journey for the panel truck junkyard tour. Hey, Cliff. Dang, ain't nobody here. Well, you know, when you walk through the compound, you walk through the junkyards, you never know what you're going to see. Back here in the barn, this is my most favorite place. This is where I hang. If you're coming during the day and you're looking for me at the dungeon and I'm not there, this is where I live back here in this barn. But this truck right here is a, um, it's a makeover. This did have a 632 cubic inch motor in it. It's been through the mud before. We cut it apart, modified it. We set this thing up for Jarrett from Kill Double Diesel. He's like seven foot tall, seven foot two tall. So we had to cut the back of this cage out. We're putting, we're putting one of Jarrett's wicket motors from Kill Double Diesel in this thing. It's a, it's a twin turbo, a compound turbo. It's gonna be a diesel truck. We're gonna debut this thing at Spring Sling on, uh, in April. And the Diesel Brothers are gonna be there. They don't even know about it, but they're gonna see it and they're gonna wanna get this truck. But they're not gonna get it, because this is Jarrett's truck, and it's really gonna be a cool piece when we get done with it. What's up, Boo Boo? What's up, Dean? Hey. Yeah. Well, I went to the barn, I'm looking for, I just need some company. Yeah. <laughs> so, I was looking for Cliff, you, or both. And, um, Cliff's on the road. Huh? Cliff's is on the road. When did he leave? He left yesterday morning. Hmm, I've been really keeping up with everybody around here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, listen, I want you to go with me on, a, um, I'm going on a journey. Where are we going? We're going to go on a panel truck junkyard hunt. Let's do this. Because listen, there is a, there's a panel truck that, you know, I've been looking at, I've been talking about, and I, I've just seen pictures, I've never seen it in person for two years. And I want it, but he will not get down on the price where I want him. And I think he's ready to move. So, but we need to go check it out. And I gotta have somebody that's small and little so I can hold you by your legs <laughs> and stick you underneath that. <laughs> but look at this, hey. Talk about panel trucks. This right here is a, 
We just picked this one up about a week ago. This is mine and Bobby's together. We partnered up on this because we're going to do a panel truck tour down to the Turkey Ride Run in November. So we're fixing this truck up. It actually runs. It has a 390 in it. It's a 1953 Ford. This wasn't my most favorite front end, um, this style grill and all of that. But this truck was so silent when we went to look at it. And it came by by someone contacted me and said, hey, one of your fans passed away, an older guy, and his family would like for you to check out this panel truck. So that's what we've done. This guy's name was TJ. He was here in 1994 taking pictures with me out front with the old swim truck. But anyway, we picked it up. We rigged up a bunch of gas lines and wires to it. It fired it up. And this thing is awesome. We got this and we got a trailer to match it. We're going to get it running just good enough to drive it to Daytona Motor Speedway in November for the turkey rod run. I figured we'd stop by in the back of the woods back here, and I just want to show you this. One thing I don't have to worry about, I don't have to worry about buying this panel truck because I already own it. And this is another, this is an old 51 Ford. This is a rat rod project that me and Teeny started when he was like 15 years old. This one's coming back to the table. We have to do something with it. And uh, we do have a lot of parts for it. But this over here, now we did do some stuff to this. We put new brakes on it. It's got the original uh, Flathead V8. We got it running, we drove it. And uh, Weston was gonna use this for his school truck. And then he got a Duramax, his pickup truck that he's driving now. He got a little more interested in that and he kinda just left Papa over here on the sideline with the, uh, you know, with the big old rusty panel truck. But it's 1950 Ford. So, you know, we, we love the panel trucks. I just wanted to show you this on the journey today because I'm going to find something that's going to be spectacular that we're going to get spiced up about again. This is another piece that I don't have to worry about buying because we already own the thing. Um, but this truck right here actually runs good. It has a six-cylinder motor in it, inline six, granny low four-speed. It's a C30 heavy-duty 1966 Chevrolet. It was modified into an ambulance. We're gonna take this thing and we're gonna make a VIP coach out of it for Weston's, um, for his 21st birthday. We're gonna have a party out here. We're gonna, we're gonna whack the roof off. We're gonna whack the top of the doors off. We're gonna put seats all in it so all of his VIPs can come out here and do their little intro for a race that we're gonna have. Come on, come on man, come on. The window was rolled down as the rain did it. And it was already had some rust in it, but in the trunk, Bobby, it has like, um, it has another set of A-arms, it has disc brakes, you know, all of this stuff that I bought that came with the car. Camaro, see the hood, Mustang, Mustang. No, it's a duster. Huh? Oh, yeah, oh God. It's a duster. <clears throat> been hiding all the goodies from me. Oh, the window's still down. That's her. I know the floor is rotten in it when you take the carpet out. This is really typically rot right here. This is a sedan. You know, got the post. It's not the like a see it's rusted there. And I don't know if there's keys in the uh Got some. Saw you at dinner last night. Yep, Talking yep. about the old Chevelle. He's hiding all the good stuff. Bobby. <laughs> Johnny. <laughs> yeah. Good to meet you. Yeah, man. Yeah, well, still there. I'm on a junkyard journey today, and really what I'm doing is I'm hunting down panel trucks. Uh, so I have like several stops. And along the way, this is a part of the story is, is I've been <laughs> craving Chevelle again. So Malibu Chevelles. And it's still here. Yeah. And the freaking window's still down, Johnny. Look, it doesn't come back up. Dang it. But okay, that's all. I just wanted to stop by and take a sniff. You know what I have for this car that's brand new in a box? Huh. A cow induction hood that Bobby just bought in an <laughs> say, auction. Uh, that's you what I told him. You look, have it right <laughs> yeah, he got it. He, look, he bought, he bought all of this stuff. We bid it on a bunch of junk, and I got pure crap, and I got a little container. He buys all this, you know, aftermarket Chevelle stuff. Yeah. So we're loaded into the container last week 
And I said, you know, this is a bitch, man. We're going to have to buy a car. <laughs> so we got a fender, <laughs> a hood, go. and some other pieces. So go. now I'm going to come back and I'm going to make a deal with you all right. later on. All right. I don't mind that. It is going to be. Uh, so we can find that piece. Yeah. That's the piece we need. Yep, yep. Um, How much is that? 430 bucks. <coughs> you got to be kidding me. Oh. That's cheap. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But you know what I want to do is I want to have I want that thing to be kind of ratty, but I want you know I would love to take the body off, put new body bushings, fix the floor pans. Um, now I wish you'd have got that rotisserie that you were looking at at the auction. It's, but it's sold too. Yeah. But um, and what I want to do is, and I want to try to find this artwork, and it was upstairs. I want to show it to you, but I want to put exhaust through the side of the car back there. You know, right down the rock, and right you got a flat in the pipe. Yeah, and I want to put like a, I want to put like a, you know, a, a plate of, of aluminum with a bunch of little rivets all the way around it. And I'm going to cut the hole and have the pipe stick through the side of it. This is it. Some more gold you're hiding from me? Mm -hmm. See if I can make one. Did you ever get a Cummins motor for it? Nah. Oh, nah. wow. Look who it is. Yeah, I was going to tell you. You, oh, you probably like that, too. Yeah. Is that a tri thing? It's a 40. 40. Yep. It was an ambulance, like a fire truck, ambulance type yep. deal back in. That's why it's surviving. The war. I'm not getting scrapped, but, uh, Everything, when I started out, it started this board. This is the Cummins motor, and it's what it makes. Yeah, it's so the same thing that you do that. Like the handles had rusted, you know? Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of a, I think it's what happened was people didn't realize it was the turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you have the handles for it? A what? Do you have the handles for it? I said, do you have the handles for it? Oh, yeah, yeah, they're in there somewhere. Yeah. That right there, real steel. <laughs> yeah, you can tell it's real steel. It used to have a, uh, I don't know, experience like you, you and Mark. Or V8 here. Stick gate steel on the store. So these are kind of hard to come by. You don't see too many of them. People that are making rat rods, they're just a little too big and heavy for them. So that's why they're not as well sought of as a short wheelbase panel trucks like we saw earlier this morning. But um, this thing sure is heavy metal. And there would be no way that I'd put a gas motor in this. You would have to have a diesel to drag this thing around. <laughs> See, this is what's cool about it right here. I mean, it's, it's a dually, it's factory, and there wasn't many. There wasn't many of these. And, um, this thing was heavy, heavy duty. I don't know why it'd been set up for an ambulance or something like that. It'd be like something that would be, to me, would be a transporter for carrying, you know, like troops and ammunition and heavy loads of something. sitting in his barn for like 40 years or something and right. uh, this didn't all this stuff didn't happen until I got it here it, yeah. was, it was really pretty and all oh, this is the only rust on it right there yeah 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 they get so screwed up around here dude yeah. if it's not climate control I got a project right now that I got from someone and it was um just in two years it's like it's really 
yeah. gone the other way. Just fix it up good enough just to get around town, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. 40, but you know how they... Yeah, it's kind of like this right here. Mm. What is it? Is it 40 or 41 or 46? What, what is this, it's Bobby? A, it's a 40. I was told. Huh? It's a 40? Yeah. I saw it. Yeah, I saw it. It's like a little ball. Yeah. 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 It's like a little mixer. <laughs> <laughs> 1940 Ford. Not too many of these guys were made right here. They're heavy duty. It has a uh, granulo four speed transmission, got a V8 flathead, uh, V8 uh, Ford motor in it, and it has a two speed rear end, um, which is very rare for a panel truck. This thing is like a big giant panel delivery that was used through the fire departments, and they think they transitioned from like a brush truck, fire truck hauling equipment around to an ambulance, then it got turned into a work truck. But um, I want to turn it into a rat ride to ride up down the road just a couple of times. All right. <laughs> and what you is know that? What that is? It's a cheap five grand. It ain't nothing. It's just a little bit of. Yeah. Well, I know, but five grand. You're paying. You're paying five thousand dollars for a twenty thousand dollar project. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to pay thirty five hundred dollars for a for a twenty thousand dollar project. You won't find another one like that around here, of course. Yeah. Open. Maybe you will. But it's not. There's one. I, in, I, yeah. There's one in Barstow. Yeah. 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 And that thing, man, that thing's solid. And I just yeah. keep it. Yeah, I'd you yeah. Know, fix it up myself to remake the V8, not go all out on it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is why I brought Bobby right here, just so we can get this gate open. Hey, we're, we're pulling in to Precision Auto. Um, this is Dave. He's a, he's a buddy of mine. He does, you know, all kinds of automotive work, repairs, and, um, and plus, he, you know, he's a junk man, too. But he's one of those guys that if he got something that's really good, that you, that's really cool, he thinks it's cool too. So he's going to, of course, he's going to fix it up. So it's kind of hard to get something from him. You can leave it open, Bobby. Check out this old Lincoln. This is what my old man used to have right here with suicide doors on it. Yeah, yeah. He had, he had 60, he had them anywhere from 64s to 67s. The hood actually opens up backwards on them. Like this. Got a little big block forward down there. They had, uh, they had 462s, so that was an oddball motor that they had in some of these. It's a 49 or 50 model. <laughs> Got this again in the side, so that must have been popular back in the day. Oh, yeah. This is a long wheelbase, so it's a three-quarter ton. And I kind of favor the shorter wheelbase this stuff. Fire Department 1-2. Huh? This is Fire Department 1-2. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, the original um, Gravedigger ride truck was a fire truck, and it came from New York. And I um, took it apart. I drove it around and used it as a utility vehicle while I was building the dungeon almost 30 years ago. Had a few parts inside of it. I know I love those. Cool. Cool little lights. You could have demoed the other one a lot. Yeah. Let's see if it's going to be good. It's a six cylinder, I'm sure. Straight mm -hmm. six. Straight six. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Yep. Flathead, straight six. No, it ain't a flathead. It's like a, a 230. Something 238 or something like that. Like inline six. Yes, inline. Got a little bit of rot in the floorboard. This is what I hate right here. And the dash rots out. It's leaking around the windshield. And that's pretty bad. I don't know. It's 
still cool because it's a panel truck. Now this one right here came off of the marsh. I know where it came from because I've looked at it before because I remember the hood being welded and, and the front clip being cut and it has a flip up front end on it. See if that thing will tip up, we'll probably break the whole nose off of it. Keep under here. Yeah, just like we like them with nothing in it. <laughs> like all of ours. <laughs> like all of ours. <laughs> These have got a lot of rust in them though, man. Look at this. That's an old Chevy. I love these, man. It's 49.50 model. Look over here. This is a coupe, fastback coupe. I tried to get this one. Like I said, he's a junk man. So if it's cool, he's going to do something with it. All right. Hey, we done a little short journey. We're getting rained out of where we're going. Looked at some cool panel trucks. Really, the most favorite thing that I saw today was probably that Chevelle that I sold to the guy johnny back at the yard sale 15 years ago but anyway i got to check out the 1940 uh panel truck came here to dave's at precision shovelay's a little rusty and rotten i don't think he wants to get rid of it anyway but we'll find out the next time i come back and we're going to rummage this junkyard good when the weather's better